So, are you looking for an easy way to install Arch Linux? Well, I got you covered. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys a very simple way of installing Arch Linux on your system. There is a GUI version of Orange Linux out there that I had no clue about. And I'm always searching around just seeing what's new with Orange Linux or anything out there dealing with Orange Linux because that's one of my favorite uh, distributions. And I ran across a site that offers a GUI installer for the Orange Linux uh, distribution. And it's super cool. So let's hop over to the website so I can show you guys what it has on it and what it offers. And then we can go through the install from there. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, so I'm at ArchLinuxGUI.in. And of course, I always have a link down in the description of the video. But it says Orca Linux GUI. And it says Orca Linux GUI was a fast offline graphical installer for Arch Linux. And so this is where you can get it from. You can get the actual installer from there. They have multiple editions that include this installer and you can just download the iso and you'll be good to go like i said they have a plasma edition gnome edition basically all the major uh desktop environments for linux you know such as xfce as well and then they have the cinnamon edition and a windows manager edition uh the i3 you know edition but let's go over to the downloads page so i show you guys how to get it right fast and it'll give you a little bit more information about the different desktops because they have multiple versions of the different desktops like for instance uh there's a kde plasma theme edition and that comes with everything on it it's basically themed so they have a themed version of it and then they have the pure edition for you know are you you know arch purists out there it'll only install arch with a base desktop environment for you uh with none of the theming and all that extra stuff like the fonts and all that stuff that you can put on there but you can download that version as well so download that one uh the themed or the pure and then it's the same for the major three desktop environments so kde plasma then the gnome edition they have a themed and a pure edition and then they also have an xfce edition you know themed as well as the pure edition which doesn't have all the extra tools on it and you guys know i love xfce so that's what we're going to install today but i already have it downloaded i'm gonna get the xfce edition installed but it says the xfce edition of orange linux gui helps you to install vanilla orange linux with the xfce desktop environment it is pre-configured and ready to use it comes with all the necessary software and settings to help users get started quickly and like i said man is it that's one of the i guess the issues that i've always had with orange linux it's just the time you have to put in to install the operating system it's fun you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong it's fun to actually go through the install you know by running everything from the command line and you knowing you just had that sense that feeling that you you know you built this system from the ground up as much as you can you know what i'm saying um using the arch linux install process and you know following the arch wiki you know through the full process but once you get to a certain point you're like man i just want this thing installed quickly uh i need to get back to work or something let's say your system has some issues or you got a bought a new computer and you're trying to hurry up and get back on your system and get it up and running but this is an easy way to go down and get it back up and running as best you can you know using a backup and all that stuff you can install using the installer and then have your system back up in a couple minutes or so. So let's hop over to my virtual machine so we can get this thing installed. 
Okay, cool. So I have the ISO booted up and it boots up just like Arch. You know, it's an Arch installer. It just has an application, you know, on it as well as the desktop environment, you know, all that good stuff. It's kind of got it like a live ISO. Uh, so let's go into it right fast. You can go, they have two options up here at the top for the installer. So Arch Linux installer, uh, x86 64 BIOS, and then FOSS. Uh, GPU drivers, which is what I'm gonna use, but they also have one with the latest NVIDIA drivers only, and then you can boot the existing uh, OS if you have one on the system, or you can run the memory test, you know, hardware information, reboot, power off. Those are your options. So, like I said, we're gonna go to the first one, so let's press enter, and it will boot up just like any other inch Arch install uh and you'll see it it'll pop up to a desktop environment essentially a live iso with whatever desktop environment that you downloaded the iso that you downloaded and like i said this one will be xfce so once we get this thing up i'm gonna go down and like fix the display and then we'll get to the install I'll show you guys how to install it super simple all right, cool. So like I said, it'll boot right into the live user, uh, no passwords or anything involved. And as you can see, this is a pretty clean desktop. This is why I like XFCE. It's super clean, super simple to use, uh, not that difficult to, you know, use in or configure or change, you know, as much as you want. Now, no matter what ISO you downloaded and you're booted into, uh, what you have to do is go under the menu and search for the Arch installer. So under our applications, I'll just scroll down and we should see a install Arch Linux. There we go. So Arch Linux installer. That's what we're looking for. And open that up. And then this will look so familiar to you if you've installed any other Linux distribution because this is the Calamoris installer. And let's see what version we got on here. Uh, so Calamoris 3.2.60-1 uh, for Arch Linux. So we're good to go. Uh, let's go down and close that and go through the install. Uh, so first thing you wanna select is your language. So American English, uh, I'm on the West Coast. So Los Angeles, that's fine. Um, keyboard layout, so I'm gonna use English default. Uh, and then we can modify our partitions from here. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you select in the right drive, which I have a virtual hard disk in here, 32 gigabytes of space on it. Uh, that's the only one there. Uh, so we can click uh, erase disk and you can set up your swap. Uh, so if you want swap, uh, you can do it or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna do swap to file, you can use ext4. Uh, you can also go into the manual partitioning just like any other. And then down here, you can encrypt the system if you want to, as well as the bootloader. Uh, you want to make sure that's selected as well. This should, should be fine. Uh, the selection that'll pop up here. So let's hit next. And then we're going to create our user account. So Josh, then I'm going to just put Orch uh, GUI. And then let's type in a super strong password for our system. Type it in twice. And we don't select login automatically without X for password. And then you can use this same password for the administrator account, which is fine. So let's hit next. Uh, and here is the summary. And then all we have to do is sit back, go get a drink or something, and let this thing install by hitting the install button. And there we go. We're off to the races. So I'll be back when this install completes. And then I'll show you guys the system once we got it up. All right, so as you can see, the Arch Linux has finished. So you should have a freshly new install of Arch Linux on your hard drive. You should be good to go. All you have to do is hit this click box, this checkbox right here that says restart now, hit done, and it'll boot right into your system. Now, I know I'm running this on a virtual machine, so it probably ran a little fast. Uh, and it may take a, it might, might have went a little faster than it would on your physical system. I'm not 100% sure or not, but it only took me approximately 10 minutes to get Arch installed on this system. So <laughs> let's go down and log in and show you guys the environment. And if you've seen uh, XFCE, then you've seen them all. 
uh, as you can see this one's uh, I have to fix the display a little bit but we have our origin style done we have everything on here that we need all our applications that we need uh, and all you have to do is simply start using it just like you would with any other Orch install and you know modifying it you know doing all your changes uh, to the system that you want but uh, you you obviously want to start off by updating this system so sudo pacman and then dash syu that'll go through and install any updates for the system uh and let's see how many how far this one is behind uh it looks like it has about uh 600 or so megabytes of updates so as you can see it's a little behind on a lot of stuff uh i'm not sure how often they produce this iso uh, I didn't see any uh, documentation on that or seeing, you know, the rollout schedule when it comes to rolling out a newer version, but it's not that big of a update, you know what I'm saying? It may take you a couple more minutes or whatever, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? It's a brand new system, but everything works. Uh, I'm going to just hit no here because I don't want to install, you know, the stuff, but we are good to go with the Orch install. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, I'm always looking around and see what's going on in the Orch world uh, when it comes to, you know, Linux distributions and just looking for new changes or things that are put out there uh, to help people that are getting into the Linux operating system. But go down and like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're new here i definitely appreciate everybody that signed up for the membership i definitely appreciate all you guys that support the channel through that process and if you are currently a patreon just understand that october 1st uh patreon will be closed down for this channel uh, i'm heavily trying to push the membership uh, just to keep everything in a central location and that way I could pro provide more value for the people that do donate to the channel or support the channel um, try to put more posts up for the members as well as uh, courses I have courses coming so um, look forward to that as well or look look out for that that should be coming pretty soon but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie